2 over 7 to decimal notation. We're converting a fraction to decimal. Uh, we have Richard online. Richard, can you tell me what would be the first step? Yeah, that I'm not sure of. <laughs> okay. Uh, to let's take a look at the easier example, one half. Richard, do you know how to change one half to decimal? Yeah, that's point five. I'm sorry, what's again? Point five zero. Okay, yeah, point five. I thought you said twenty five. Okay, so uh, how we uh, how did you find point five? Did you just divide two into one, right? Well, because I know that. It's all based off of a 100-point scale, and half is 50 percent, basically. Right. So w one half is obviously equal to 0.5. So that would be a good example to see how to uh, find that. If I divide uh, two into one using the long division, we get that result. So let's take a look. Uh, here we have zero. Zero times uh, anything is zero. So we carry on the remainder is 1. So if I want to continue, I have to get to the decimal portion of this. And I have as many zeros I want after this uh, decimal point. I'm going to bring the first zero down. And then what times 2 give me uh, 10, obviously, is 5. So that would be 10. So the remainder is 0. So that's, like Richard says, 1 half is equal to 0.5, obviously. So uh, if I use the same method here, uh, let's write this as 7 dividing by 2. So Richard, can you tell me what do you think we should do next here? OK, well, 7 won't go into 2, so we'll need to put a point zero next to the 2 to turn it into a 20, basically, and then see how many times 7 goes into 20, which is 2. Uh, with a remainder of 6 down there. So that would turn the next number into 60, and then you'd have to see how many times 7 goes into 60, and so on and so on. OK. Well, tell me what it is. Uh, what number do you think we should go uh, next here? Oh, uh, 2, because 2 times 7 is 14. Okay. So what's the remainder? Six. Okay. So we're going to keep moving the zeros down here. What would be the next one? Seven times eight, which is fifty-six. Mm -hmm. So it'd be a remainder of four. And we just add another zero to it, making it forty. And seven goes into forty uh, five times, which is thirty-five. Leaving with a remainder of five, then bring down another zero to make that a fifty, and then seven goes into fifty seven times. Because seven times seven is forty-nine, so you have a remainder of one, and <laughs> then bring down another zero, making that a ten. And 7 goes into 10 once. And that's 7. With the remainder of 3. Um, bring down another 0. <laughs> and I guess we just keep doing that until we get an even number. Um, uh, keep on going. I want to show you uh, what happens next. Uh, so that would be zero. So what's the next number? Mm -hmm. 
we'll, we'll see would be next number. Be, I'm sorry, my microphone was off. Um, the next number would be four because seven times four is twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. That leaves us with the remainder of two. And we have to bring down another zero to turn that into a 20. And then seven goes into 20 twice. So the number up there is two. And then that's 14. And so it has a remainder of six. So we have to bring down another number. And uh, that is uh, 7 times 8, which is 56. So the number is uh, 8. And so we minus 56 from 60, and we get a remainder of 4. OK. Uh, as you see here, uh, the number repeats itself. Because once we get the same remainder, uh, as you see, we have 2, 8, and the next number after that would be uh, 5, 7, 1, and so on. So I can put uh, zeros here. So this is where, where the number repeats itself. Uh, right from here, uh, we get 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, and then 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, and keep on going forever. So sometimes the remainder uh, never goes to 0. And it does repeat. In this case, that that is uh, one example uh, where the remainder keep repeating itself. Uh, so uh, the question is, uh, where can I stop uh, in a situation like that? What do you think, Richard? Where, uh, what do you think? When when can we stop? I was going to ask you the same question. If if we're entering it into the computer uh, for an online question, I would say we would stop at 0.285714. So that, that's why we have to read the question carefully and see where should we round this to. So if we have a problem like this, we should see a, a, a little note here that says round uh, to the Uh, nearest now we need to know nearest what so if I uh, if uh, the question is around that uh, to the nearest uh, let's say uh, tenth so Richard what would be the answer and if you're rounding to the nearest tenth then the number would be 0 0.3 Exactly. So you 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 look at the tenth, the tenth uh, digit, uh, since the number next to it is uh, over five, so it's five or more. You add one to this, so you're absolutely right. That would be equal to uh, point uh, three. Uh, what if uh, I want to round this uh, to the uh, nearest, uh, let's say. A hundred. Who would that be, Richard? Well, you'd have to go to the hundredth spot, which is the eight, and they say that the number to the right, if it's five, then it stays the same. So it'd be point two eight. Uh, remember, Richard, if it's five or more, then you add. So this is five. So you want to change your answer? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't hear you. Uh, yes. Uh, when we uh, round to the nearest hundredth, you, you look at the uh, hundredth digit, the tenth is hundredth, and then you look at the number to its right. If it's five or more, then you would add one to this, just like you add one to uh, two when, uh, to, when you round it to the nearest tenth. 
So if the digit to its right is five or more, you always add one to this. So what do you think would be the answer? Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood that. And it's 0 0.29. Right. Because so I keep getting confused on the five because I was always taught that the five, it would go one way and, you know, go the other way. But then I found out from recently that it was the opposite. So I keep getting confused on it. Okay, let's do one more. Let's round this to the nearest, uh, let's say, uh, 10 thousandths. What would be the answer here, Richard? Point two eight five seven. Right, so you look at the 10 uh, thousandths digit. So here would be ten hundred thousands. This is ten thousand. So you look at the digits right to it. To its right is uh, less than five, so we don't add. So here we have it. Would be point two eight five seven. So if you have to convert a fraction into the decimal, uh, and when we divide and we keep getting a remainder, we have to know where to stop and we have to uh, read the question carefully and see if uh, we have to round it to which digits. And we practice a few of them here and we see how to do them. Uh, Richard, you okay with this now?